Hi everyone, welcome to day eight of year two of awesome. So today I'm going to be talking about one of my least favorite subjects, but at the same time I'm going to be doing something that I love, so it should counterbalance. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about Justin Bieber's movie because it is released today, or at least the fucking premiere is today. Anyway, uh, why? Just out of curiosity, if anyone can answer this, why does this 16-year-old, averagely average individual who just happened to get lucky deserve a film over someone else more important? I don't know. Maybe make a film about Pamela Anderson. That might be entertaining. Watch uh, David Hasselhoff's Rise and Fall of Fame and Glory. Uh, something. Something is better than this. Because essentially, all the movie is going to be is the retelling of like five years ago when he was 11 and banging on some pots and pans and somehow he got lucky and then launched into this massive career that basically is fed by teenage girls. Uh, he basically, from my understanding, and this is only because I... I don't know why I know this, but from my understanding, he grew up in a white suburban household in Canada, not making for some very interesting documentarian film style. Uh, there's nothing interesting there. This is a money-making campaign by Disney, and while I don't blame them, um, I still wish that it wasn't being made, because, quite frankly, it sickens me. And then here's the other thing. Here's the fucking kicker. It's a goddamn 3D movie. It's fucking... Why? It's a fucking documentary. It doesn't need to be 3D. It just needs to be there. And it doesn't really even need to be there because he's too fucking young to have that interesting of a, of a documentary. Give him a few years to let his career fail because we all know it's going to happen. It happened to Jesse McCartney. It happened to Aaron Carter. Just give it time to fail like them and then make the fucking movie because that's when people will want to watch. Oh... Oh, Justin Bieber, fuck. Whoa. Oh, you mean Justin Bieber fell out of grace? Let me watch that. That's more fucking interesting. Give him some time to, I don't know, grow some balls and become a man, because quite frankly, he's still a kid. There's nothing of interest there. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, it's all just a money-making campaign, and it's so sad. Because if that's what film is reaching, then film is dead. I mean, theater has been dead for years, but that's because there haven't been any playwrights to tackle serious issues right now. All the great plays are fucking 50 years or older. And so that needs to change. So I've long accepted that theater is dead, but I still love it because I want to try and be a part of that revival. But film has been going strong for a while. I mean, yeah, sure, there have been some really, really, really shitty films. But this is like the culmination of every single thing I hate, along with the culmination of every single shitty movie ever fucking created. And it's going to make fucking millions. It's, it's going to make hundreds of millions. Well, maybe not hundreds of millions, but it'll get fucking close. Because it's, it's all fed by teenage girls who are in love with the Biebs. And I feel so bad for the parents because they're going to be drugged to that film time and time again and you know that they're, they're just hating the kid right now too because I really don't blame them and so ah uh, I don't know I, I just had to like get this off my chest because it was probably the most annoying thing I've ever seen anyway uh that's it for today cats cool cats yeah not cats the musical because that sucks too uh, question for you guys out there. How do you feel about this movie? And yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I'm just thoroughly mentally stressed and abused right now because of this. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.